Hey Divas, welcome back to the Diva Den. Happy early new year to you all. This may very well be my last beauty subscription box for 2019 and it may not be renewed for 2020. We're going to see. It all depends on BoxyCharm and Allure. So far Allure has not um, disappointed, but you never know. This is the last box of their year subscription or the their beauty box subscription for 2019 so let's see what they have i'm gonna leave allure for last because i just love them and i've really only had this makes the third um this makes the third beauty box um i don't know if you guys all know but we do have a family channel it's right now it's called m and d tv and um i think because it's a family channel there the 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 um comments will not be enabled but i did post for our first video i posted in the community tab and that's where you can leave comments for the videos there and we will have a new year's highly requested from trent a video posted posting tomorrow so look for the um community post for that video and then if you have any comments or any requests or anything then you can leave it there we're gonna go to the Dis discovery museum we got a three-week pass there so if you guys want to see any vlogs from the discovery museum on our a family channel then let me know down in the comments of this video and we'll make it happen for you guys so boxy charm and it says boxy charm whimsy and this is what the box is looking like and they did replace the um serum that i got for my november box uh, it was all wasted out, so they did replace that. And I also had a, a buy on or a buy um, from the boxy store, and um, they shipped it. They said it was going to ship in my next box, but they did not do that. So that like made me a little. Mm, so that's one strike. But it says um, story box, storybook, cosmetic fairy tale palette little red riding hood palette so this must be it oh i like that look this is what it looks like you guys probably have already seen this on some of the other beauty channels or some of the other um boxy charm unboxing but this is the first time you've seen it on diva Dan, so let's see okay nice Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. Okay, red, bad wolf, basket, peril, journey, and woods. Super cute. Those are the colors. Can you see? <laughs> one day I'm going to get this thing thing to focus here we go so this retail for $35 cute I'm not completely wild by it but cute elements is next collagen face rose oil nice I like that Curious and lightweight facial oil through, infused with precious trio of rose extracts to help smooth the look of fine lines, wrinkles, leaving your skin with a luminous glow. That's lovely. And you guys, if you have a, a facial roller, this is perfect to um, do this right after your cleansing. And use that facial roller. It smells good. Very light. Not overpowering <clears throat> at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't know. 
too small. Let me see. Does it see it on the front? It is 0.5 U.S. fluid ounces and 15 milliliter. Okay. Siete. I think that's how you say it. Is this it? Yes. Marbled lightweight aluminum blusher. I do like this brand. They have illuminating non-glitter uh, highlighter. This is what it looks like. This is it on my skin. I'm just going to the museum, so I'm not gonna put this on heavily, but a little. I like the I like their packaging the most. So that's cute. Knocking stuff over. Next is uh, anesthetic brush cleanser. It must be this. Oh, I forgot to say, this is $26. Whoa, wow, this is $79. I was trying to get, and that's the um, Pro Collagen um, Oil, facial oil. And then this Anesthetica, um, it's $12. Prolong the life of your favorite makeup brushes with the Anesthetica Pro Series Cleanser and Conditioner, specially formulated to um, effectively remove accumulated makeup and dirt from the cherished makeup tool, from your cherished makeup tools. So $12. And last but not least, so one, two, three, four, five, five items. We have the Brow Bar um makeup kit and i did get get in on time to choose specifically this it was between this and oh another product and i can't remember what it was but oh i love the packaging on this as well very cute if i can open it okay style your brows like a pro with the ultimate pro brow kit Designed with long, with two long, wearing brow shadows, highlighting brow lift, sculptal, sculpting mascara gel, angled brush, and a flat brow brush. Okay, so this is the two-sided brush, and this must be the brow bar gel like mascara I like the packaging a lot and then this other one it looks like the pomade but it said it's sculpting stuff whatever so pretty good okay I enjoy this the most enjoyed this well this is the top winner but I love this brand so I think four out of five is not bad. I love these four items. I'm not I'm not crazy about that um, palette. So maybe I don't know. I don't know if this is the last boxy charm boxing you'll see on Diva Den. I wanted to get the other box. What is it called? Um, not the Lux box, but the one before Lux. I wanted that one, but there's a crazy waiting list for it. So I didn't get it because that would have been nice to get that um, as my last box or possibly my last box. So, yeah. On to Allure. Allure. Allure doesn't really tell you the price. Like, it tells you the price, but some stuff is not full size. But it's okay because it's a $15 box. And that was $25. So, 
is the extra 10 really worth it? We're gonna find out. Sorry that it's still blurry. But the products won't be. Because uh, I don't even have it on autofocus. This has, I don't know, exclusive promo codes inside. But on the back, it has Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay. And the box, I don't know if you guys peeped that when I was holding it up. But it can't even close all the way. So they, they packed it to the brim for the last one. Let's see. I'm seeing some repeats. Maybe not with this box, but maybe some other box. This is Christopher Robin something. Scrub. Cleanse purifying scrub with sea salt. Let's open this, this book that they always send. Okay, so Christopher Robin um cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt this glistening sticky paste that looks like um uh, made of crusted opals retails for $53 for 246 milliliters which I don't that's not this yes 53 for shampoo oh so it's a shampoo it's not your normal shampoo it uses salt crystals to um as a conditioning paste and rids the scalp of dead skin i'm definitely going to use this uh, for product buildup so that your hair is fuller and more vibrant and excellent okay let's see how it smells you can buy this at sephora i like um scalp exfoliants it smells good it smells like like <clears throat> like a lily mm, it smells really good something florally but it's good i like it and then this is what it looks like on my finger okay the next is um First Aid Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Oh, I, I like this for sensitive skin. And I always need a primer. Coconut Skin Smoothing Moisturizing Hydrating. And this is by the uh, Hello Fab First Aid Beauty brand. A slight coconut smell. I'm not going to open it because it's, you know, closed, sealed. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. And then here is two Anastasia Beverly Hill awesome products. These are really great and these look like they're full price. Now this um, seems like it's full price as well. And this was, and you can find this on the firstaidbeauty.com website, $28. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces. So maybe it's not full size, but this is a luxe, a luxe, uh, what do you call it? A luxe um, sample size, I want to say. Okay, the first um, Anastasia Beverly Hill product is a liquid lipstick. And the color is Trust Issues. Now, I think Jackie Ina wears this. I've heard this name before, Trust Issues. I'm about to put some on because the other one is a clear brow. I have lip gloss on right now, but it's no color to it. You definitely know you're getting high end with Anastasia because all of her... doe foots are so luxury like luxurious like they feel just like and this is uh let me find this in the book this is twenty dollars 
and this is full size. So right there, that pays for the box. And I like this color, cute, nice fall color. Next is the clear brow gel. And this is retails for $22. And I'm sure that this is probably full size. It says clear. Get it in my hair. Maybe a full size one of these would be a little bit bigger. I would hope for twenty two dollars. How much was that um brow? The brow, the whole brow kit. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. <laughs> well, this is good. It's always good to get this brand. Next is the. A fine palette. Anastasia Beverly Hill Moon Child Glow Kit, $40. And that's the last thing in my box. Wow. So you got three Anastasia items for $15. With all, See, this is what I mean. Like, I mean, yeah. Four out of five products for BoxyCharm that, you know, I was really happy with, but the box cost me $25. So, you know, but this box cost me $15 and I got three Anastasia Belly Hill products in it. The First Day Beauty brand is not no shabby, you know, brand. So that's really good, even though it's not. I don't, it's probably not full size, but it's a nice uh, luxury sample, I guess, or deluxe sample, maybe. That's what they call it. And then this Christopher Robin stuff, I don't, you know, it's $53 for probably, let's see how many fluid ounces this is. This is 400 And so... A regular size would be half of this bottle so about right here and then a little bit more so you see what I'm saying like it's it's not you know what I'm saying so anyways <laughs> let me get back to open this oh no it's crushed I wonder if they would replace it I never had any issues with um Ulta. So I don't know. But it's crushed. But this is the I've seen this before at the um at TJ Maxx. But even there, I forgot how much it is. So this retails for forty forty dollars. It is the Moon Child Glow Kit. And it's a highlighter. So it's a highlighter with pink, green, blue, and foils of silver called Star. I'm disappointed that it's broken. Purple Horseshoe, Star, Icy Blue. Um, yes. Ooh. Let me put this back on it. Ooh. So what do you guys think? Do you think I need to contact the Lord to get a new one? Ooh, this is what it looks like in your hand. This is what it looks like on my finger. It's like iridescent. Let me see. Ooh. Mmm. 
and it's not glittery. Now this is a, this is not a gloss, but it's moisturizing. I wonder is it long wearing? I like this color. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, this would be cute. Um, look at that. To add some color to the lip. It does wipe off a little bit, the lipstick. Can you see that? Let me know down in the comments below if I should contact um a lord to get a new one. Would you? I like this lip color. So you guys, that is all. Ooh. To be perfectly honest, I don't know if I'm gonna renew either of them just because I have so much and I really don't even use it on a daily, but I, I love Allure. It's gonna pain me to cancel that one. But maybe I'll pick both of them back up for my birthday. Maybe if I start getting into them more. But I really don't even use them, you guys. But I do love everything that I got. I just feel like it would probably be a waste to keep renewing these if I'm not even, like, using them. But what I wanted to do was see the price of the... Um, that brow gel brow kit $30 that was pretty good so that was $30 and that included three the brow gel the pen the 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 whatchamacallit brow bar included two brow gels dark and brown and then the um brow gel of the brow powder, the brow gel, and then a highlighter. So that's a really good price, and the pen, and the um, brush. But that black is like, does anybody use black like that? I think it would be too harsh. Maybe if you just um, mix the brown and the black. Ooh. Oh yeah, you don't need much. Look at that. I like this. They already hard from that gel though. Yeah, I do like this. I, it's gonna be difficult to cancel, but I just don't, right now, I'm, I probably will just cancel these. I don't know. I'm so indecisive because I do like the stuff that I got. You guys got to let me know down below. Anyways, I'm going to go so we can head out. Let me know what you thought of these boxes. Let me know if I should just chunk the deuce on these and just don't worry about it. Or should I send a message to Allure and let them know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I don't know if you guys will see me again before New Year's or New Year's Eve on this channel, but be on the lookout for a few challenges. I have, we have a few, how many challenges we have over there? Like three? 
we have a couple challenges, but we're going to post one specifically tomorrow real, uh, related to the new year. And then, um, yeah. And then that's about it. So whatever you guys do for the new year, I, uh, New Year's Eve celebration, hope that you guys are safe and um, warm. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, guys.